Hey everyone, uh, people often ask me how I make my videos, what setup I use, how I create the backdrops, how I set it up, what equipment I use, what software I use, etc. So I thought today I would show you how I make my videos. So here's my bedroom, obviously not very technical, it's not a studio or anything, it's not, not that hard to make to be honest. You need, what well, I need, a video camera, a green screen, few lights which you can buy from any just lighting store or DIY store or anything like that, a laptop obviously to edit my videos, and memory cards, and the camera, and the tripod. And I have a stool to sit on, but I guess that wouldn't be essential. But this is pretty much the bare minimum, this is the equipment I use and it's so easy to make honestly. This is just, as you can see, my bedroom's not very tidy either, so it doesn't have to be anything special. So we're going to start off with my uh, camera. This is actually not designed to be a video camera, this is just a standard camera usually used to take photos. But it works. It will take the videos that I need it to. Um, just slide it open. There you go. It is a Canon PowerShot S70. I'll just angle it around. Okay, it's obviously not tightly screwed in at the moment. But I'll just angle it to where I want to film on my green screen and use it as the background drop, I'll tighten it up and just get it angled so that is matching with that, pretty much. I will then use my stool um, and I will place it roughly so I've got the green screen as the majority of the background. If I've got a tiny bit of white above where it's filming, I can crop it at the end and just make it cropped in so it's just the green screen and me. So I'll sit down on that, make sure it's angled, so my face and the green screen is in the backdrop. Another really important thing when you're using the green screen is shadow, because if you're chroma keying and editing through your video software, you're going to have a lot of shadow. So I use two lights, light number one, and there's another light over here. I've got an overhead light, which is just a standard light which came with the house, if that makes sense. So I don't want too much shadow. If I get too close, obviously you can see there is shadow. So I've got to be fairly far away, and obviously there's still a tiny bit of shadow, and the, the, the nearer I get to the green screen, the more shadow there is. So I try and stand, sit rather, as near to it as possible. So that's how I film, and then I'll just obviously start it and go, hey, today I'm going to be showing you blah blah blah. So this is pretty much how I film. So once I've filmed, I'll take the memory card out of here, and I will put it into my computer. Okay, so as you can see, I've now got my computer, I've got a chair, which is just for sitting on, for making me feel comfortable, and when I'm lazy I can just sit back in it. Anyway, I'll put the memory card into my computer. I use SD cards. I've got a 2 gig one which I'll usually record on, which will give me about 13 minutes of HD video recording time, which is perfect for what I need. I will, you know, log in, I will go and I will edit the videos. What I use to edit my videos is Sony Vegas 8. I think there's Vegas 9 now, but I haven't upgraded, obviously, because it does cost money. It's about £80 for this software, but it is worth it. I make everything, almost everything in here. If I'm making a quick video, I'll just use Windows Movie Maker, which is obviously standard and free with a Windows computer. And that does the job. That's fine. But when I'm making my video intros, when I'm chroma keying, when I'm setting up backgrounds, I will use Sony Vegas 8, because that's really effective and works really well. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you used, tell me what you thought, and I hope you have fun making YouTube videos too.